Right, well, we're down here on the roof of North Bondi Surf Club with uh, Connor and Christian Van Vuren. Um, Christian is one half of the Bondi Hipsters with Nick Bosher, and Connor, you you write and direct. Co-write, co-direct. Co-write, co-direct. Co -direct. Yeah. Well, there is nothing that evokes the spirit of Bondi more than the Bondi Hipsters. Uh -huh. And you guys got started on YouTube, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We um we just kind of got together one weekend and decided to shoot a bunch of videos and chuck them up on YouTube um, and you know just thought that's a nice place to put the content for it to be able to get seen passed around for us to establish the characters and um, build a world around their story and stuff like that. So, now, so how big an audience have you collected uh, on the YouTube platform? Um, over the over the few years that we've been putting videos on there we've probably made probably made about 50 or 60 Bondi Hipsters videos in total and we've Across all the YouTube content that we've got and Facebook videos, probably about, had about 15, 20 million views on the content. Yeah, that is fantastic. I mean, it is such a powerful platform, isn't it, the internet, because it's available on every device. Yeah, it's great. And you get like instant audience feedback, so you get a really good sense for your audience. And it kind of um, causes you to make stuff that's really audience focused. It can be traumatic as well as. But, but tell me, is the, is the, is the most popular video still uh, the Life Organic one? It's not. It's not the most popular. Um, we had some. We started putting some stuff on Facebook as well. And Facebook video sharing on Facebook is also going very strong. Do you find that is stronger than, than YouTube? Because I mean, certainly we do. I mean, it hits our videos are not as interesting as yours. Yeah, <laughs> it hits bigger at the moment. Like, there's less functionality with it, but it hits. It, hit, it tends to hit bigger when you put stuff on Facebook. You now have to have videos on both platforms. So yeah. you need to be uploading to YouTube and also uploading your Facebook pages. Yeah. yeah. We had a yoga, Bondo yoga video that about two and a half on Facebook. So two and a half million on Facebook. Yeah. Wow. Politicians dream of those numbers. <laughs> so anyway, you guys have got a new grant from Screen Australia yes. to, for a new project. Yes. Can you tell us what the project is? Or is that secret? No, we can, we can talk Trust about... Trust me, I'm a politician. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, we yeah. can soul of indiscretion. Yeah, we yeah. have a slate of a bunch of different projects. So the, the money was enterprise funding. So that was to go to Ben and Brothers to basically start uh, the ball rolling on a bunch of different projects. It would be collaborations with other people. But the, the ones we can talk about are the ideas that are already been formed, which is like a Bondi Hipsters movie um, that they're developing, as well as a Kiwi Assassins which was uh, one of the stories from Soulmates, the show yeah. we had on ABC2. Yeah. Which we were lucky enough to have some Screen Australia support on. Right, too. oh good. But good. Kiwi Assassins, the musical, is the idea. So we had a couple of Kiwi Assassins who were in Australia to stop Australia from playing claim to all their protected people. Yeah. Claiming papers and things like that. Well. Yeah. Basically secret warfare over things like Pavlova and new dairy innovations and the young Russell Crowe's and things like that. Yeah, well, I mean, they and we stole all their vowels anyway. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> so so yes. they, 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 they might want a vowel for the two back. Yeah. So tell me, what's the best thing about Wanda? I love uh, the food. I just wish it wasn't so expensive, but I think the food's amazing. The people watching's pretty good. Pretty special. Yeah, it is. I enjoy the people I love, watching. I like it. Yeah, you can just hang out and uh, have a coffee and watch the people walk by. Yeah, yeah. And the 333 is a big part of your uh, Bondi gift to them. Yeah, the 333. Three, three, I'm pretty the 333. Three, three. I saw you tweet that. <laughs> I saw you tweet yeah, that. No, no, no. I love the 333. <laughs> They're very attractive people from Bondi. It is. It's a, it's a quite an attractive. But the fitness culture is another thing that you can't just the mention. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah. All, all the bar lads. Dimitri. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Well, the Russian guy that basically runs the bars. If you want to climb a you have to talk to him. Yeah. Okay. The soft sand runners who claim that it's better for your feet. Yeah. But who kind of get that hip kind problem? Of hip problems. <laughs> yeah. and gronky knees. <laughs> like kind of uh, wrong turning wrists. It is a. Uh, it is a. It is a very funny place and very egalitarian because everyone's just you know wearing a swimming costume down at the beach. I mean they always say. The, you know, the great joke I find with people that I know from the surf club or from the icebergs, if you meet them in town, you'll go, oh, oh yeah, Mark, yeah, sorry, don't recognise you with your clothes on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're just used to you from the, like, the Bondi rough water swim or something. <laughs> they yeah, saw well, you with your They just see me sinking, see me sinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a, I have a very unhappy experience with ocean swims. Yeah. Anyway, well, listen, guys, let's go and have a coffee. Yeah, I'd love okay. to. Okay, good, and congratulations on the grant. Thank, Thank you very so much. much. Okay.